Are you chronically constipated? Eating good foods with good fiber can be your best medicine. Yeah, you heard me right. Not some fancy medicine or physical therapy, but fiber, good fiber. Today we'll go over my top five tips on how to incorporate more fiber in your diet. I'm Nurse Wong, and this is Bud Talks. Fiber is truly a godsend from Mother Nature. There are two types of fiber, one that is soluble in water and the other that is insoluble. Water-soluble fiber slows down your digestion to help you better absorb those precious nutrients from your foods. Insoluble fiber helps bulk up your poop by drawing water into it. This helps your poop move more quickly through your gut and out your butt. Both types of fiber have their unique benefits and are necessary for your health. Unfortunately, most Americans get around 15 grams or less of fiber a day, while the recommended daily fiber intake is 25 to 38 grams. So how can we reach this fiber intake goal? Here are my top five tips. Number one, start your day off right with a fibrous breakfast. High fiber breakfasts can keep you feeling fuller longer and help you concentrate better throughout the day. Traditionally, American breakfasts like eggs and bacon usually lack fiber. To fiber up your breakfast, consider adding fruits, nuts, and seeds to your recipes. For example, if you love yogurt for breakfast, add fresh fruits and chia seeds to it. If you like your morning toast, use unprocessed multigrain bread. My favorite breakfast is oatmeal with fruit, easy to make, delicious, and high in fiber. I also love smoothies made from berries, bananas, milk, and protein powder. We will make a video on some specific recipes in the future, so stay tuned. Number two, snack on fruits and nuts. Fruits and nuts make great snacks because they are tasty and portable. They are actually excellent natural sources of fiber. However, not all fruits and nuts are created equally. Some have significantly more fiber than others. Some high fiber fruits you can snack on are avocado, raspberries, pear, apple, strawberries. Some high fiber nuts are almonds, Pine nuts, pistachios, mmm, hazelnuts, and pecans. Nuts eaten alone can irritate your gut. Coupling them with fruits is a great way to protect your stomach from getting irritated. So next time, replace your chips and cookies with fresh fruits and nuts. Number three, incorporating more veggies. You really can't go wrong with having more vegetables. Non-starchy green vegetables are particularly low in calories and high in nutrition and fiber. Soups and salads allow you to have creative and tasteful ways to eat plenty of vegetables. Make your salads as colorful as the rainbow by using high fiber veggies such as leafy greens such as kale and spinach, beets, carrots, peppers of all colors, avocados, sprinkled nuts and seeds on top for some extra crunch. For soups, use veggies or meat broth as a base. Be sure to add veggies like saute onions, carrots, celery, potatoes in moderation, and all types of legumes. Number four, choose whole grains instead of processed grains. Grains are an excellent source of fiber. According to WebMD.com, the best types of fiber to help with your constipation comes from whole grain breads, cereals, and pastas. Similar to fruits and nuts, not all grains are created equally. When choosing grains, opt for whole grains as much as possible. Whole grains have the German brand intact, making them more nutritious than the processed refined grains. Some grains with high fiber content includes Armorath, barley, buckwheat, farro, and quinoa. When baking, replace white flour with whole wheat, chickpea, coconut, or almond flour. Number five, 
Take a fiber supplement with meals. For some reason you can't eat enough fiber naturally, try adding a few capsules of fiber supplement such as psyllium before each meal. Fiber supplements should be taken on an empty stomach but preferably should be taken with your first bite of food. Psyllium husk is a soluble fiber that acts as a gentle bulking agent, keeping your poop soft. According to the NIH, a study showed that taking psyllium twice a day for two weeks significantly increased the water content and the weight of poops, as well as the total number of bowel movements in individuals with chronic constipation. I'll leave a link in the description below to my favorite fiber supplements. Lastly, check out our video of my favorite fiber supplements to learn more. If you like our video, press the like button below. Comment on what you want to learn more about next. For more tips and tricks from Butt Talks, subscribe to our channel. Have a great poop day!